check that out. This is our hardware for the Challenger luggage. Comes really well packed, I must say so myself. Uh, as you can see, we've made some progress. We now have our lid racks on here. I said I would do a video on this. In fact, the one I did last year was so well done. I'm just going to leave that one up as the uh, the lid rack video. Uh, I think you're using 530 seconds throughout here, putting the bolts through, uh, silicone, then the rubber grommets, and then fastening it down with the locking nuts. And these are fantastic. They're a little bit worn, but that's just because uh, they've been used. So uh, what you're given here, you're given one bag per side. This is a really nice improvement for Jesse Luggage as far as how this stuff all comes. You've got both these here, and then also we have a special tool, some 595 uh, silicone. Now these instructions are only covering the Delran installation of the Challenger luggage. The same PDF is on their website, there's two sides to it. Here's the first side. And then the rear. So let's go through making this. I'm gonna basically um, not talk through this. And through the magic of editing, this is gonna happen fairly fast compared to how long it takes me in reality. It is my first time doing it, but you'll get to see the entire process this way. And for the second one, we're a little bit closer. Feel free to, uh, on YouTube, you can actually, in the player, switch this down to up to one quarter speed. And uh, doing so will give you a really nice view of what I'm doing here. Mounting this on the bike, we're just going to be dropping this right here. And now we've got this here. I like to move this actually in the very back. I want to slide that on. Should give you good clearance there. because this isn't catching here. Loosen these two things up here, down here, and uh, basically lift the box up a little bit. And this is kind of the process when you get one of these is that initial adjustment of the Delrin to make it fit. Mr. 
it's just one of those things you have to do when you're first getting these installed. Then you can basically set it and forget it. We're going to tighten this down now with our tool. Uh, you don't want to over tighten it though. Keep that in mind. Just get it right here where you start to feel resistance then you're good. You're not going to try to over torque it more than like 10 or so foot pounds. And lock it up. I'm actually going to hit these one more time with this tool just to make sure. That Loctite will go to work overnight. And you're done. The Challenger boxes are a, a definite step up from previous boxes. The Odyssey 2s. I never owned the Odyssey 1s, but from the Odyssey 2s to this, these are sexy. And the lid racks really <laughs> tie the room together. Uh, they just they just make the whole thing look a lot more uh, utilitarian, more rugged. I kind of wish they were... Um, uh, like a factory add-on where you could actually just buy them um, and look at that <laughs> they follow the lines of the bike perfectly they're following the lines of the rear subframe uh, and all this is adjustable you can use the Delrin to basically make them completely flat if you want to I like them at an angle personally um, and they just look nicer following those lines here's a top-down view Are they uh, even Pretty much even. This one's a little bit farther forward, I think, but pretty close. God, it's so beautiful. And of course, I mean, you know, these being carries over the Odyssey 2s, um, they show a lot more wear than the uh, Challengers, but honestly, <laughs> give it give it a month, and these will be just as dirty, so scraped up. Uh, also, the uh, black hinges are a new uh, addition for Jesse. And they are gorgeous. They do have black bolts on hand, which means I really would like to uh, swap these out. And of course, they can do a dyed black billet. Um, <laughs> that would be beautiful. Here's Black Dog Cycle Works uh, foot pegs in black billet. Uh, you can see the purple hues, though. So black billet is hard to do. Um, most of the time, it turns purple. So hey, a little bit of sheen isn't that bad. But man, these things are gorgeous. Um, they function exactly like the Odysseys did. It's not like Jesse completely reinvented the wheel. They just made everything way, way better. So, great job, Jesse Luggage. Um, these are great. I love them already. I can't wait to uh, roll these things up with camping gear and uh, travel across America. All right, rock on, everyone. Ride safe. Thanks for watching. And thanks, Jesse Luggage. Uh, oh, disclosure. So, um... I think this is the most appropriate video for this. The I paid for the racks, top and bottom racks for the Jesse luggage, uh, and I received discounts on um, some of the accessories and the boxes themselves. So um, I guess there is a, with the terms of the agreement basically is not that I'm required to make this video. I'm not required to say nice things about it. Uh, I'm not required to um, do a certain amount of social media post about them. Um, the stipulation was you're already a big customer of ours. You love making videos. You're going to make a video anyway. They know me too well. So here are some discounts. Um, and, you know, it's because we appreciate what you're doing for us. So with that, I appreciate you as well, Jesse. Luggage, not Jesse. Al Jesse, he's long gone. But uh, Jesse Luggage, you guys, uh, Sean, um, D, and uh, Ryan, I work with all the time, giving them feedback, uh, talking to them about stuff. I call them like once a week. So they've just been fantastic and um, I'm stoked to be a part of the the family. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Be safe out there.